This is Semantic Merge for Java. Semantic Merge is a three-way merge tool. It is a refactor-aware and programming language-aware merge tool. It's able to handle the merging at the structural level and not the test block level. It means it first parses the code and creates an intermediate structure that it's then used to calculate all the diffs and merges. It enables a string refactoring, which was always a goal for us. This is the cost of change according to Barry Boehm back 30 years ago and Ken Beck in 2002. If you keep your code quality high by doing a lot of refactors and cleaning up your code, the cost of change can grow on a logarithmic way instead of growing up exponentially. Semantic merge reduces the number of lines to be reviewed during merge in 97%. Currently, 23% of the merges being done on current repositories are considered as semantic. In fact, the tools helps you with the cases you have today, but it's going to be even more helpful with the kind of cases you'll be handling once you really get used to the tool. Let's now check a scenario that can be easily handled by semantic merge, and it's very difficult to deal with for a conventional text-based merge tool. What you have on the center is the base, how the code was before, and then you have the two contributors at both sides. Well, first thing you see is that two new subclasses are created and methods from the original class are moved into the new two subclasses. And that's what you get when you run semantic merge. You don't have any conflicts because actually the changes we show in the S scenario don't collide. And then you get the destination here. You get the class rename it and then you get the, new, the two new subclasses. The client socket with two methods and also the server socket with the two methods and they all gets get host by name methods still on the DNS class. You can also go once all the conflicts are solved, which in this case is by default, you can go and also move methods up and down, just rearrange the whole thing as needed. Now let's take a look at the second and a little bit more complex example. Here we have what we call a divergent move. We have a method listen, that is going to be moved to the client socket class and the DNS class at the same time by two different developers. The part on the center of the diagram is how the file was, and then the, the two on the sides are actually the destinations, I mean the two contributors, how they made a modification. So the listen method is moved and also modified on both contributors. And also we have a connect to method that is deleted on one of the contributors and has been changed on the other one. You see how in this diagram, we just can follow the, the lines to see what happened. Let's check how semantic merge deals with this case. We go to the socket deeper subdirectory of the examples, and then we will just run the semantic merge tool. As you can see, semantic is going to show you only two conflicts, only the methods involved on the changes. You can focus first on the listen method, then on the connect to. In the case of the listen, we have two different conflicts inside. One is the divergent move. It's been moved to client socket from server socket and also to DNS. So you have to decide which one of them you want. In my case, I will keep it on the DNS class. And then I still have a change changed example. I can div the code in both contributors or I can just simply run the merge. As soon as I run the merge, I can focus only on the conflict that happened on the method. In my case, I see how it was modified at the same time, and I can just keep one of the contributors or the other just running a regular text-based merge for the text of the method. Once I'm done, I will just click on Save and Exit. Next, I will just keep the deletion of the connect to method, and then we'll just go and inspect the result. And in the result, you'll see how I have now the listen method on the DNS class, but with the changes I decided to introduce. If you look at the GUI in Semantic Merge, you see it's not a regular three-way merge tool. Normally the layout for a three-way merge tool is something like this. You have the three contributors and the result, or maybe the result is just the same as the base. But the type of conflicts we can handle are not easily 
rendered this way. So we simply came out with a completely different way to handle the conflicts. In fact, the GUI design looks for something like what you see on the screen. In fact, we try to show all the conflicts in just a single line. So, for instance, in this case, you see this method one, as shown in this graphic in red, has been modified on the two contributors. So you see a C and a C. The one on the right stands for the destination, the one on the left stands for the source. The change on the source contributor, the change on the destination contributor. We have integration with most of the IDEs out there and also the version controls. So you can use it with IntelliJ or Android Studio. You can use it with Git, Mercurial, TFS. If you go to our website, you'll find documentation on how to configure it with the most popular version control systems. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy Semantic Merch.